Hello my friends and thank you for joining me for a trip down the rabbit hole. These art journaling pages are a bit much, even for me. But the new dilution stamps have those Alice in the Wonderland vibes, so I could not help myself. Instead of one cohesive spread, this is a spread where you find something new every time you have a peek. But I'm getting ahead of myself. These pages start with stamping the new dilution stamps and I stamp these ladies in Versa Fine Clear Nocturne ink and I stamp many so I can paper piece them later on. These ladies are lovely but the images on their heads are busy so by paper piecing some details I hope to make them easier to see when I add dimension and color to them. I'm taking all the sentiments from that same stamp set and I want to heat emboss them with the WOW's Ebony Super Fine Embossing Powder. You can absolutely stamp in black and put clear powder over, but sometimes it is worth the mess with black powder to get those black, bold and shiny sentiments. I stamp in Versamark Embossing Ink and I cover with WOW's Ebony Powder and melt. Next I stamp the yummy cupcakes and the feet in fabulous shoes, the same way as before, but my ink pad is getting dry, so it takes a while inking the stamps up, and I have many more images to stamp before I'm done, but I intend to use every drop of ink before I change the ink pad. In the third stamp set we have a hat, some candy canes and a drink with the note drink me and the cupcake has a note that says eat me and I stamp many, many of each image. Where I live we are celebrating Pride next week, so this will be a kind of rainbow background using Dilutions Ink in Postbox Red, Lemon Zest, Vibrant Turquoise and Bubblegum Pink. And I also use shimmer sprays in Lemon Zest, Squeezed Orange and Bubblegum Pink. Working in my big Dilutions journal I start with the Postbox Red, then Lemon Zest, vibrant turquoise and bubblegum pink. I spray the shimmer sprays randomly before I add water and so I don't waste all that lovely ink. I grab two pieces of cardstock and smoosh them over to pick up excess ink. After getting ink on my scrap pieces of cardstock, I spray some more ink and water to make the colors blend. And where red meets yellow, we get orange. Where the yellow meets blue, we get a hint of green. And where blue meets pink, we get a purple. And I finish the right corner with more red ink. And when the pages are dry, we can really see the beautiful shimmer. The secret to avoiding mud is simply to spray the colors in the right order. So next I have a new stamp set that isn't really new, but new to me. It is one of Dilution's Couture stamp sets, and I load my stamping platform with Dilution's cardstock, and I stamp this long body with words of fine clear, nocturne ink, and I also stamp a couple of hats. I 
I have this image, but I want to make it my own, so I use a black fine liner to add diagonal stripes to the jacket. I write we're all mad here on the chest to add to the wonderland feeling and I make random circles in different sizes on the pants. On one of the hats I draw flowers and I add a few lines to the ribbon around it. I found this Dilutions alphabet on second hand and I want to use the letters to make a sign. But first, I heat emboss the letters in WOW's Clear Gloss Superfine Powder. I stamp in black and cover with clear powder before I melt it. I want to write do not disturb, but I wasn't happy with the stamping on the word not, so I cut it out and tried again. I will cut the letters out, so doing a word again isn't a problem at all. Now let's color all my images and I will color them with Dilutions ink. I have brush pens that my friend Linda gifted me for 12 inks and for the rest I use a pipette to put a few drops of ink in my palette and use a round brush to color. For this hat I use the colors Fresh Lime, Cut Grass and Polished Jade. I love hats. Anyway, I will leave a lot of colouring in, but keep in mind that I will paper piece some details so I will have the chance to change some colours when I colour in the extra pieces and you will see later on that I do that. I colour the ribbon on the hat and the note with bubblegum pink and use the darker funky fuchsia to add shadows. For this couture outfit I will use many shades of pink, for the shirt I use bubblegum pink and funky fuchsia. For every other stripe on the jacket I used pomegranate seeds and for the remaining stripes I used funky fuchsia. I color in the circles on the pants with crushed grapes and then I color in the rest of the pants in bubblegum pink using funky fuchsia to make shadows and I color from the top and from the bottom and blending the color out with water over the knees to give the pants a worn look. It is hard to catch on camera, but I use Mermaid Lagoon Blue just a tad and blend it out with water to give the glass bottle some color. Then I use Pure Sunshine and Tangerine Dream to color in the liquid and the little umbrella. For the teapot I use the dark blue after midnight and Mermaid Lagoon on the pots with polka dots. For the seams in between I use crushed grapes and bubblegum pink and funky fuchsia for the middle part. For her eye patch I used After Midnight and Mermaid Lagoon. I 
I use my Prima Complexions watercolor palette for her skin tone and I give her friend coming up a darker skin tone. For the hair on this beauty, I used Postbox Red at the root and tips and then Tangerine Dream and I blend it out with pure sunshine in the middle. For her glasses, I use Funky Fuchsia for the frame and rose quartz further in and I blend it all out with water in the middle. I do the same for all the candy canes. I use Postbox Red and for the white parts, I use an Arteza watercolor marker in light grey and blend the grey out with water to give the white a small shadow. For the Drink Me bottles, I give the bottles a blue shadow and alternate between a yellow-orange combo and a combo of bubblegum pink and funky fuchsia. I also color the written notes here in Mermaid Lagoon blended with water. For the Eat Me cupcakes, I use pure sunshine for the cupcake wrapping and bubblegum pink for the frosting, blending it out with water to achieve highlights. I color the sprinkles and note with crushed grapes. For this cupcake I wasn't happy with the wrapping and changed it later for a green one, but the frosting is colored with fresh lime. These fabulous shoes will act as legs for a hat table, but now I color them with bubblegum pink and pure sunshine. My last cupcake has a sherry colored with sherry pie ink, frosting colored with bubblegum pink and crushed grapes wrapping. In hindsight, I didn't need any more images, but at this point in the process, I absolutely thought I needed some flowers and mushrooms. I stamp them and bring out some dilutions images that are bought on second hand. I flip through them and find bodies for my heads and settle on one with wings and one cat body. And naturally, I cut off their heads. Now, let's create that sign I embossed words for a while ago. I have the extra inked cardstock from the background and I die cut a rectangle with stitched edges. I glue my words on and of course they didn't fit there. So I use my scissors to cut them out from that rectangle. I die cut a new one and add a strip of paper saying eating cake. I color that strip with tangerine dream and pure sunshine and finally I have my sign that says do not disturb eating cake. Here I am coloring some mushrooms that I felt was necessary for these pages in funky fuchsia and bubblegum pink. I also color each of those embossed sentiments in different colors, having the darkest color on the edges and lighter further in. I color this flower in postbox red at the base of each petal, tangerine dream in the middle and pure sunshine at the tip. Then I color the roses with after midnight where I want shadows and I fill in the rest with mermaid lagoon. Finally. I color the stems with polished jade and fresh lime. I have colored the bodies for my heads and now it's time to make some paper dolls and do some paper piecing. I glue each head onto a body. I 
I cut out and colored many of the details on these heads and now I put foam tape behind them and pop them onto my dolls, giving their heads a lot of dimension. It is finally time for my pink outfit to become a person. I glue on one of the hats like it's pulled down over a face and then I bring out some eyes left over from the Lost Illusions project and I glue them on with foam tape on the hat so the hat has these amazing dimensional eyes. Next I build that table with those gorgeous shoes and a hat and on the table I glue a drink and a cake. I use one of my wood paper strips from another project to finish my sign and then I have all the elements for my pages and much, much more. As I said in the beginning, this is a bit much even for me, but it is time to finish these pages. I glue down mushrooms, candy canes and flowers in a cluster in one corner and then I add my sign, do not disturb, eating cake. From the many heads I stamped, I cut out many teapots and teacups and now I start gluing them down along with more mushrooms and my hat table, going nuts with details and many, many images. I use the cupcakes, bottles, teacups and teapots to make kind of a border around the pages. I glue down sentiments and then I get to glue down my pink hat person. I also glue down my two ladies with dimensional headwear standing on other images. Finally I glue down that hat table, a teacup on another hat head and a sentiment saying everything stops for tea. I know there can't be any more details, or can it? As a last attempt to bring out some of the details, I bring out glossy accents and I use it to achieve a domed, glossy surface on the sign, bottles, glasses, eye patches and so, so much more. And now, these dilutional mixed media art journaling pages are finished. Thank you so much for being with me this long. I hope you will consider coming back. Until the next time, happy crafting!